Uh, everyone, it is time for us to give some final remarks. Let me bring our hosts back to the stage. And well, co-hosts, give us some final remarks. What are your takeaways? I don't know, anything. Over to you, Sukraj. Um, I mean, I've been making notes, uh, keenly making notes here, my notepad, and I'm sure that everyone else has been furiously scribbling away. And it's difficult to really condense everything that we've been through. And even I think uh, for everyone, a personal emotional journey to condense them in just one takeaway. But I, I think I have three key points I think I want to share with you. Um, I mean, I, I recently spent a little time uh, with Duff when we were in Athens together for a conference and I just find her to be such an inspiration. Um, and she has the, some, some brilliant quotes and there are two today that I've made note of. Um, the first I shared in our workshop, which was stoicism helps us decide what to think when we don't know what to think. Um, and I oh. think that really sums up a lot of stoic thought because it helps, stoic thought helps us create distance between uh, reacting to a situation where we're not really sure how to digest, how to, to process that. I know Anne made some of those comments at the, the beginning of the conference in our introduction um, to help us figure out what we really how we feel about a situation when we're not really sure how to react um the second is we know courage when we see it which i think was a terrific one sometimes we need to listen to our own moral compass and intuition about a situation and the third was a general um, overarching takeaway in that Courage, and especially quiet courage, isn't always recognised. Uh, we don't always know what's happening in other people's personal lives, what they're battling. And I think uh, with some of the stories that were shared today, often people at work, in your, in your family, your friends, may not know um, what personal battles you're facing. So often courage isn't always recognised, um, but it is driven from within. That shouldn't deter us from uh, making our own evaluation, deciding what courage means for us um, to be who we truly are, um, as developing Stoics as we walk through our, our own paths. Thanks, Sukraj. Um, Andy, any <clears throat> final thoughts from you? Sure. Um, I mean, Sukraj summarized so many of the beautiful moments of today. So maybe I'll focus on something that was really interesting for me. Um, I loved observing the conversations that unfolded and the gentle sort of approach to openness and collaboration that everyone had. And I think that that's something that comes from intention toward thoughtfulness, um, intention toward engagement that really uh, celebrates the idea that, you know, life is so much richer when we take the time to connect with one another. So just having this space, having this opportunity to share courageous moments, um, however big or however small, you know, we talked about death and grappling with illness and finding our way to a truer sense of our connection with nature and what that looks like. Um, but, you know, the courage that it took to forge into this space, I think is important. And so I just wanted to thank Catherine and Brittany for creating this for us. Um, I hope to see many of you during Stoic Week. Um, that was actually my introduction to Stoicism was you know, through Stoic Mindfulness and Resilience Training. And then of course, Stoic Week. Um, I'm delighted to be able to be again, a part of the Stoicon community and we're co-organizing that at the end of this month. Um, but you know, the co-organizer also is, <laughs> my husband, Greg Sadler, who's the editor of, of Stoicism Today. And so, you know, we're constantly talking about this. Um, it's part of our kind of daily function at this point. And so having the special opportunity to participate in this way, um, where I could come in as a visitor, uh, but a visitor with, you know, an intention of adding value was really delightful for me. Um, I'm so grateful to have the opportunity to hear again from Duff and from Nancy and always Chris Gill. Um, but, you know, just also being introduced to new voices that I was not aware of before. Thank you to everyone for making this day so special, but especially to Catherine and to Brittany for all of the thought and care that you put into this, helping us go forward and be more courageous. So thank you for that. Thank you, Andy. And over to you, Anne. What are your thoughts? Well, I don't have uh, a lot to add. I just am very... My heart is just full and I'm so proud of all the participants that shared their courageous stories with us. Thanks, Anne. It's an absolute pleasure to be hosting with you all and just to see all these lovely women at on stage. It's just really lovely to 
to do this with you. Um, Anne has put some things in the chat for you and I will too. Don't forget that coming up is uh, Stoic Week and uh, Stoicon is coming up at the end of the month. There's a link there to get your tickets. It is time for us to end the official proceedings of our Courageous Paths to Flourishing conference. Um, we're having a short break, just a 15 minute break. Actually, how long? We're gonna be back at 20 past. So, oh, um, have for like a five minute break, everyone. Just stretch, grab a snack, uh, maybe a, a beverage and come on back. We're gonna have a fireside chat in this room. Um, just to, yeah, maybe just share some final, final words before we head out. Um, thank you again, everyone, for joining us either on stage or in the audience. What an absolute pleasure. I've learned so much from you all today, and I look forward to our next event next year. So do stay in touch. And thanks again, Sukraj and Andy and Brittany, who um, is here, and everyone in the room. Thank you. Have a great break. See you back here for our fireside chat. And um, yeah, stay stoic. 